every day. Thousands of drivers step into the Tesla Cybertruck without a second thought. Owners love it. Fans swear by it. But what if I told you the Cybertruck isn't just a bold-looking vehicle and that it may be the safest pickup truck ever made? Floor of the vehicle. Cybertruck has lowest probability of injury and the lowest probability of rollover in any pickup truck on the market. That's not luck, that's engineering. In rollover protection, roof strength, and impact resistance, it's already outdoing some of the toughest trucks on the market. And here's the strange part. It doesn't have the crumple zones or lightweight panels that most safety systems rely on. So how does it keep people safe? And why are experts calling it a game changer? To understand that, we have to start with how it was built. On the surface, the thing looks like a rolling battering ram sharp edges, bare metal, and a body that holds its shape like forged armor. It gives off the impression of something built for impact, but in a dangerous, not reassuring kind of way. But that's just the paradox. Its most intimidating features are exactly what make it safer. Tesla didn't design the Cybertruck to follow pickup trends. They built it from scratch, applying principles used in aerospace, not agriculture, and somehow, in the process of making a truck that looks like a threat, they ended up making one that protects. That is something pickup trucks haven't always done well. Historically, they weren't designed with safety as the priority. Most were made to haul, built on body-on-frame platforms with high centers of gravity and rigid front ends. For decades, rollover accidents and weak side impact protection plagued the segment. Trucks sat tall, carried heavy fuel tanks high in the chassis, and lacked energy-absorbing zones in crashes. They were workhorses, not crash cushions. And when collisions did happen, they were less forgiving than passenger vehicles. This wasn't some oversight, it was just never the point. But today, with the Cybertruck, that equation is being flipped completely. Tesla knew they couldn't rely on legacy truck frames if they wanted something safer, so they started over. The result? An exoskeleton. Essentially, the body of the truck is the frame. There's no separate skeleton underneath holding it all together. That angular shell isn't just for style, it's a structural element. Cold rolled stainless steel panels form a rigid envelope around the cabin. Distant. So this is a 300 series. Our panels are up to 1.8 millimeters thick. So actually carrying structural load, not just there for aesthetics. That makes it incredibly resistant to deformation in a crash. Of course it will come with autopilot standard. So the three, three versions. While conventional trucks crumple or twist under pressure, the Cybertruck's outer shell distributes the force around the cabin, absorbing energy across its entire frame. It's less about what gives in a collision and more about what holds and what protects the people inside. Then there's Tesla's use of massive giga castings, single piece rear and front underbody castings that replace what used to be hundreds of welded parts. That simplification does two things. It reduces potential failure points, and it directs crash energy in a predictable path. When a crash happens, you want control over where energy goes. We get that progressive crush, the motion of the tow hook first, and then the bumper as it crushes, and then the next thing we have is the casting. You don't want random folding, with giga casting, the structure channels impact around passengers, not into them. Combined with low-mounted crash rails that align with sedans, the Cybertruck reduces the mismatch penalty and collisions between large and small vehicles. It doesn't climb over cars, it absorbs with them. This isn't just safer for you, it's safer for everyone else on the road. And even if it never hits anything, rollover performance is where the truck's design flips the script. Traditional pickups ride high and carry weight up top, which makes them even more prone to tipping. But the Cybertruck places its heaviest component, the battery, flat in the floor. That lowers the center of gravity dramatically. Instead of fighting the laws of physics, it works with them. 
Add to that the adaptive air suspension that lowers at high speeds or in emergency maneuvers, and you get a truck that stays planted. It drives steady and it stays upright when things go wrong. Tesla didn't stop there. They tested four major types of rollover conditions, ramp, curb, soil, and the notorious Womp Ditch, the kind that catches a tire and flips the entire vehicle. In all scenarios, the Cybertruck's roof structure remained rigid, the glass stayed intact, and the cabin maintained its shape. What this testing shows is that the overall design of Cybertruck is very robust. I've been impressed with the way the Cybertruck maintained its structural integrity during multiple different types of rollovers. This matters because the most fatal part of a rollover isn't the flip, it's the collapse. Keeping the structure intact saves lives, and in many cases buys time. This level of passive safety, designs that work whether the driver reacts or not, is rare but it's exactly what the Cybertruck leans into. Like a helmet that's always on, it shell protects without needing to be activated. That kind of thinking shifts the definition of vehicle safety entirely. But safety isn't just about protecting those inside the truck. It's also about what happens when the truck meets something or someone else. Traditional pickups tend to sit high and hit low vehicles square in the windshield. In a crash, that mismatch can be deadly, but the Cybertruck's front crash structure is built deliberately low, aligning more with sedans than semis. That way, if a collision happens, it engages the crumple zones of both vehicles, reducing the severity for everyone involved. There's, we designed it to have the crash structure way down low. It's not only in line with the center of gravity, but it's compatible with other vehicles on the road, which means it's a safer crash for everyone involved. It's the kind of design that sees the road as a shared space, not a battlefield of mass and momentum. Weight distribution plays a big part in this too. Unlike older pickups that carry gas tanks and hardware high up and off balance, the Cybertruck keeps its mass low and centered. The battery, again, is the anchor here. It stretches across the floor, acting as both ballast and shield. The majority of that mass is in the battery pack, which is down all the way on the floor. It's actually the floor of the vehicle. That centralized weight gives the truck more control, better handling, and less risk of instability under sudden movement. Whether you're braking hard or swerving to avoid something, the center of gravity keeps the truck composed. That's not just a performance benefit, it's a safety feature. And behind it all is a layer of engineering most drivers will never see, the simulations. Tesla doesn't just crash a few prototypes and hope for the best. They run thousands of digital simulations for every possible impact. From frontal to offset, from side pole to rollover. These are mapped against real world physics using detailed material data and impact modeling. The result is a vehicle that already knows how to crash before it ever hits a wall. So when the physical tests happen, the data matches. And if it doesn't, Tesla adjusts fast. That loop, simulate, test, refine, is how the Cybertruck gets safer before it even rolls off the line. In most vehicles, passive safety is a checklist of features. But for Tesla, it's an integrated system from structure to suspension to software safe. Passive safety is what happens after you get in an accident. We think about that from the beginning of a design. Every layer is doing something to protect. Whether it's dissipating energy, preventing a rollover, aligning with another car's crash zones, or simply keeping you from flipping over in the first place. It's smart, and all of it is working in the background, whether you notice it or not. The Cybertruck follows no one. From its shell to its sensors, every choice puts protection first. It handles impact with precision, balances strength with control, and proves that safety can lead the design. The road has changed, and this machine was built for it. Hit like, share your thoughts in the comments, and subscribe for more deep dives into the machine shaping tomorrow's roads today.